Hey everybody and welcome back to the new adventure. Today Maggie and I are going to be talking to y'all about Golden Doodle hair care. Here we go. The first thing I want to recommend to y'all is when you get a Golden Doodle puppy, when you first bring that baby home, I want you to get a brush and I want you to brush that dog every day. And the reason I say that is because we did not do that with Miss Maggie, and I wish we had. So she does not love to be brushed and groomed. She'll let me do it, but it's taken years of a lot of hard work. So if you can just start out easy, start out small, um, get them used to the sound of the blow dryer, um, get them used to bath time, because that's gonna be something that's gonna be really, really important later on. And I think with her, we really did not realize that, how important that would be. So with Ellie, uh, as soon as she was old enough, we started brushing her and she actually loves to be brushed. So it's not an issue for her at all. She, she really enjoys it. So um, the brush that we recommend uh, for them. It's a wire brush. It's a soft wire though and it does kind of take out any of their hair that's wanting to fall out anyway. They don't shed like a normal dog does but they do drop some hair here and there. And then a comb if you get any tangles. A little uh, metal comb is the best thing to use for those tangles. So try to brush every day if you can. Um, if you can't, we totally understand. We actually are not the best at it ourselves. So for a good grooming schedule, I would recommend about every four to six weeks. You're gonna wanna find somebody who's actually been trained on how to cut a golden doodle's hair. I would say get a recommendation from one of your neighbors or somebody in your community to tell you who is a good groomer and look at reviews online as well. And just make sure that where you're going is a reputable place. We have a great uh, groomer for our dogs and we're really happy with them. They do a wonderful job. So. The, it's really important too that your dog develops a good relationship with your groomer. We have actually had some anxiety issues in the past with Maggie going to the groomers. So we found somebody that she's comfortable with and they're comfortable with her. So it's, wor it's working out really well. Cause like we said, she doesn't love it too, too much, but she's, it's growing on her. So in between those regular groomings, about every four to six weeks, I would recommend bathing no more than once every two weeks probably. I have actually been accused of bathing too much um, for one of my dogs that, uh, anyway, yeah, I just like a clean dog. So what I would recommend is just if they're dirty, if their coats look dirty, um, if you can get it off with these wipes, we use these a lot around the farm because they get into all kinds of things. So just in between baths, I would use these on their feet, their legs. Um, I actually get these at Walmart or you can get them at um, any pet supply store. So recommend those. So when we do bathe, we actually, if it's nice, we try to bathe them outside. And that is because water gets everywhere. It's not so much hair. It's not like they're shedding on everything like some dogs do. But the water, the amount of water that will come out of their fur. Now one thing I wanna point out is with their coats, they're very, very thick and they are, Poodles and Goldens are both water dogs. So it's actually really hard to get their hair wet. It's almost like it repels the water. But then once you penetrate down into that fur and you actually get it wet, it's hard to get the water out. And you will be surprised at how much water they can hold. It usually takes about three towels or so just to get that water off. Plus they'll shake everywhere, water goes everywhere. Um, so we have found that for us, watching, washing them outside on our deck seems to be our best bet. We did actually put in a hot water spigot outside so that we're not having to use cold water on them. But if you can't do that, you can certainly do it in your bathroom. That's totally fine. Just be ready for water to be everywhere when you're finished. I think all dogs do this, but after a bath, our dogs go absolutely insane. It's like they've actually jumped up on our beds before and like rooted all through the covers and everything so that's another point for doing it outside if you can now once they're bathed i do not let them go into the grass because if i let them go into the grass they would be dirty again and we'd have to start all over again i actually blow dry the dogs inside you don't have to blow dry your dogs and some dogs absolutely hate it maggie doesn't love it but she lets me do it now um, but I think, you know, it makes them definitely a little bit more fluffy and everything when you're done. Y'all seen those puff and fluff things? I think I want to, I, I think that would be an absolute disaster, but I really want to try it. It's like that bag thing you put over them and then like you put the hair dryer in it and then it just, poof. anyway. 
So the shampoo that I use with these dogs, um, our dogs actually have sensitive skin. I don't know if that's an all golden doodle thing, but the ones that I know do have sensitive skin. So we find something that has like an oatmeal or it will say on it that is for sensitive skin. And there is an ingredient in a lot of different soaps, um, toothpaste, things like that, that's called sodium lyryl sulfate or SLS. And it will cause some ulcerations on um, skin. It'll actually cause it on our skin too. So one of those things to look for when you're buying your, your dog shampoo. And I actually buy one that is a shampoo and conditioner in one just because their hair does get tangly. So it seems to help a little bit with that. But I'm not too particular on the brand. For me, I haven't found one that I'm like, ooh, this is my favorite. So I've tried a lot of different things. Um, pretty much I just look at the ingredients on them, see what's in it. Um, just kind of keep it basic and also a lot of these dogs and mine are uh, sensitive to wheat so a lot of shampoos have gluten or wheat in them so just look at that too that's something to think about if your dog's having some skin allergy issues just look at what kind of foods you're feeding them um, that's another thing as far as their coat goes too um, we actually use a grain-free dog food that um, seems to work good it's actually a salmon dog food. Our vet told us not to use chicken, not to use beef. Um, some of these dogs just don't do well with that. So we have switched to a salmon. It stinks really bad. I don't like it, but they like it and their skin is much better. So I'm happy with that. Happy to report that that is working even though it stinks. Right, Mags? Okay, you win. <laughs> One more tip that I will give you um, to help their coats be nice and healthy and shiny is we do feed them a little bit of coconut oil every so often and they love it. It's like a treat. So I would recommend trying that with your pups and just see. I haven't found one yet that doesn't love that. So and just spoonful, give it to them. They just lick it straight off. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today. Um, if you want to know more about Golden Doodles and what we do here on the farm, I'll leave some links down below. Be sure and check those out and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. And we got lots more to look forward to around the farm. So we will see you next time. Bye.